Where'd he go? What are you guys setting this up? Just wanted to let everyone know out there we're having a few technical uh, difficulties idea, on the end for heard. on the end for the TDR late model series, and we'll be with you guys in a little bit. Unfortunately, they had a few hiccups, so we will be right with you, and then we'll be starting here with the 360 Pro late model series. You gotta thank uh, Kabang Energy Kennedy. Uh, for coming aboard and uh, sponsoring some nice giveaways for us here on the full velocity on full velocity television and it's going to be a fantastic night of racing as soon as we can get you alive so they're working on that and we'll be with you guys shortly
Yes, they will. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Full Velocity TV here live today at the Lanier National Speedway. As Todd Stanton says, my broadcast partner in a long time, back with the Full Velocity name here, Full Velocity TV. Point here, a new, fresh, revamped approach to what Love we're you. doing here. And we are thrilled to have you all aboard here tonight. YouTube Live here tonight, and we welcome you all aboard the TDR open pro late model series presented by rtz racing an awesome night on deed also got to thank our sponsors out there kabang energy candy they've come on board for the eight race season here for the late models and we are thrilled to have that we've got great giveaways coming away here these guys got a lot of product to give away we'll tell you how to get involved and also draft.com the all new fantasy sports app these guys are uh, going to put up a, a free entry fee of $10, I believe it is, if you use the promo code Weatherby. Draft.com on your Apple or Android phone. Look up at the store now, Draft.com app, the only way to play fantasy sports. So uh, promo code Weatherby on that once again. So uh, we're here at the Lanier National Speedway. Race number one here for the TDR Pro Late Model Series season. Phil Cass and Todd Stanton here representing Full Velocity TV. A new look, a new take on things, but back to an old audience here. Back into the air racing simulation. And Todd, we're even going back home to the NASCAR racing on three days. I know we booked a couple of shows here that'll be on the airwaves. Oh, in about 10 days from now, so much left to come for us. And we just can't wait to go back to the matches out there and tell everybody, hey, we're here, we're back, and let's get to work. Yeah, definitely can't wait to get back to work here on Full Velocity TV. Some old names, some old things going to come on here. NASCAR Racing 2003 coming back aboard here. We're going to be highlighting those guys. And I can't wait. It's Hobo Racing League coming up here on Full Velocity TV. So we're going to be back in that NASCAR 2003 stable. So anybody that wants to book an event with us can do so through our Facebook page. And get a hold of myself or Phil, and we'll get you all booked up, ready to rock and roll. Also, iRacing Leagues out there can also book us, too, uh, through, the, I, I, through that Facebook page, Phil. And I tell you what, these guys, uh, a little bit light of a crowd here this evening. They had a little bit late of a start, had a little bit of issues with some of the server technical difficulties on that side. They do have tw over 22 drivers signed up for this series. But, you know, when you're late, sometimes uh, some of them haulers go elsewhere, and that's what happens on a normal Friday night. Well, it's unfortunate, too, but, you know, it's the iRacing simulation. Sometimes when they fix one thing, another problem arises, and just couldn't get this server up and running here tonight with our heat race format. But it looks like all systems are ready to go. A little bit of a light draw here. I believe eight drivers have taken time here in practice, so... Maybe a kind of a late crowd, a light crowd here for the first show out, but we have the first of eight weeks going to come to you live on the air, a touring series for the guys over at TDR. These guys have done dirt for a long time, a long-standing tradition that dates back not only to NR 2003, but also a very successful sprint car in, you know, Monday Street Stock, and now the pro late models here coming at you on a Monday night. So it's going to be really good, guys. Hope to see more people get involved. Find this great league, TDR Sim Racing League, inside the iRacing simulation, tdr-racing.net forward slash iRacing is the iRacing portal for the TDR Racing League. And, uh, of course, Full Velocity TV right here. going to be every Monday night with these guys, and we're going to be touring all over the landscape. Back to Hobo Racing in a couple of weeks as we make our grand return to the NR 2003 community. And can't wait to see all that started. Any kind of info you may need, guys. Give us an email now, fullvelocitytv at gmail.com. We will put those scenes all together. Let all you guys know how to get in touch with us, but fullvelocitytv at gmail.com. Also find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash fullvelocitytv. You'll get a hold of Todd and myself and a lot of surprises on the way for you. Maybe some familiar names, some new guys going to be a part of the fray as well. We've got a lot of twists and turns and surprises coming up for you here as uh, Full Velocity TV starts to pick up steam here as uh, we get rolling through these summer months and the fall is quickly approaching. The calendar about to turn over to August 1st and man, you know all the great things that come down here as all these great leagues get toward the end of their seasons. We're going to have great racing right here, Todd. We're at Lanier tonight for looks like going to be a little bit of a lighter audience light crowd for us, but some new names and some familiar names to us and I think we're going to be see a great show here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a fantastic show. We're showing on screen right now that Cabane Energy Candy sponsor machine, the 289 machine, who is also being sponsored by 
Kabang there out there on the speed, speedway taking his qualifying laps. It's Jerry, Jeremy Weatherby, I should say, in that 289 machine making some hot laps out there on the speedway. Looks like he's a little bit off of some of the times there, but he's able to move himself up into the sixth qualifying position here out of eight. So Kabang Energy, got to thank those. Also got to thank RTZ Racing. RTZ Racing were the guys that came aboard here to sponsor all eight races broadcasted and even fill a single race broadcasted for the Street Stock Series here, the ending season finale for these guys here at TDR Racing. So if you want to get involved here at TDR Racing, the iRacing stables, TDR iRacing, you can look us up, TDR Sim Racing League. It is iRacing on the iRacing stable, so you can look them up. You can apply. It's five dollars for the whole season, and that also goes to the points payouts at the end of the season. So we got to thank everybody for being involved in that. Again, RTZ, you got Kabang Energy, also out there, going to be uh, going to be a sponsor that you're going to see familiar here on Full Velocity TV quite a bit, as we're going to have some giveaways in the near future. Also, we're going to have a you know, a lot of cool things coming on. Beginning next week, we're going to bring back our old friend, the 50-50 draw, drawing for raffles. And uh, that's going to be a great thing as well. We're going to do 50% of the proceeds going to the driver's point fund at the end of the season. And the other 50% will go to our lucky ticket winner here next week live on YouTube. So head over now to tdr-racing.net forward slash iRacing. You'll see a donate link in the top right corner of the screen. You'll select a number of tickets you want in the denomination there as well. I believe it's a one for one dollar, three for two. We'll get that all sorted out here. I believe it's a five for ten, ten for twenty. Any denomination out there, put your your orders in now, and we'll start getting those all aligned here. We will draw a winner for the fifty fifty next week. We'll sell tickets all week long, and a couple of the cool things we're going to do here with this series here in the TDR Racing Stable with this i Racing Simulation is try to raise some great money here in a. Pay off the top five points here at the end of the season. That'd be a cool thing. But Todd looks like qualifying just about to come to a wrap. So the eight guys that took time in the pit area. And how about a quick time tonight for a newcomer to the series, a late entry, the number 227 of Blake Majula is clocking in a 13.498. Looks like he's going to set quick time here in qualifying. This is about to click over to the heat race format. So great lap there. And that'll let these guys go. Looks like we're going to have two heat races on the docket. So two heat races, all four cars. So uh, let's dive into the straight to the starting line for heat number one. What do you say? Two heat races out there on the speedway being driven. The first heat race going to be led by the 227 of Blake Majoltis. And outside of him, his dancing partner to the outside. That's the number two, the sidewinder. That's Scott Schroyer. Row two, shotgun on this field, the 101, the high side hustler, Martin Karch rolls off of the third spot, and shotgun on this four-car field through heat number one. The number four car is driven by Randall Thompson, so four drivers will take to the field for 10 laps around the .38 mile Lanier National Speedway. Brazelton, Georgia is the place to be here tonight. I racing pace truck one more time around, and we will set these guys green for 10 laps around the 2018 C season here for the Pro Open Late Model Series presented by RTZ Racing. We're about to go green flag racing. Todd I Racing Pace Truck is going to make its way to pit side this time around. And that's going to put the field in Blake Majolta's hands. Scott Schreier to the outside. Martin Karch, Randall Thompson, four drivers. They're green here as they hit in turn one. Green flag is out. Loud pedal is down. Down into turn number one. The 227 of Majolta's takes the early advantage. Down on the bottom, the 101 of Martin Karch side by side with the number two of Scott Schreier through turn number four. A little bit of a a little bit of a contact between the 101 and the 2. The 101 of Martin Karch now lets him back by the number 2. Scott Stroyer still hanging on to that second spot. Yeah, good battle going on there for that second spot between Stroyer and Karch. But look at Blake Majulis. He is a just run away and hit here, Todd. He's got a good 10 car length advantage off of turn number 2. Three laps up on the board. Four this time around. So 
going to be four in. Going to be a quick night for us here at the Lanier National Speedway. Blake Michelle is here with the lead, but the eyes are in that battle for second between Schweier and Mark Karch in the turn two. Yeah, lap four of ten here already in, and it's going to be a real quick, fast-paced heat race as we're still side by side, almost side by side racing here between Scott Schroyer, that number two machine, the Sidewinder, and the 101 of Martin Karch, the high side hustler. Coined. He's down on the bottom side, though, is the 101. Those guys pretty much have stayed single file here. All cars will qualify. All four cars is we're about, about halfway, actually halfway home. Five laps to go, five in, five to go here at Lanier Speedway. And we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen. Is Blake just pulling away from the field here. Randall Thompson still running in that four spot in the number four machine. So he's out there running his own kind of race there, trying to make things happen. A little bit of crinkled right rear in that number four machine. Yeah, he had run down that battle for a second between Martin Karch and Scott Stroyer, the two car who currently holds the spot. But yeah, it looks like Randall got the four car up into the wall with the right rear, kind of lost a little bit of time there, and he's going to be nowhere near a factor. And those guys having a good race for second, but they are going to be no factor here for the race win whatsoever. Pops and sticks up in the air for that Blake Majoltis number 227. He sees a popsicle sticks in the air. He will see white flag next time around off of turn number four, white silk going in the air. One more time around the 3-8 smile, Lanier National Speedway off of turn number two. He's got a half a lap away. He has got nothing but clean racetrack ahead. No battle from behind. He works his way through three and four to the low side. Blake Majoltis picking up the win here in heat race number one. Scott Schroyer second. Martin Karch will finish up third in a running at the field, their four-car field. That is Randall Thompson aboard car number four. So good race there. Blake Majoltis, our quick time setter here tonight. And I don't know, Todd, it may be a light crowd, but I think qualifying position here tonight, the way you run in these heat races, it may set the tone for the entire evening. And you got to be impressed by the way that 227 looked out there in this heat. Definitely impressed how the 227 actually ran around this speedway. The 600 Richard Murtaugh Jr., he's going to lead the way here in the next one. He was the second quickest here of the evening. This is going to be heat number two. So starting on the pole there, Phil, as these guys are starting the grid, driving that number 600, that's Richard Murtaugh Jr., and his dancing partner outside, that's Mr. Excitement, driving the number five, that's David Day. Row number two rolling off on the inside will be the 289, the Kabang Energy Candy Machine for Jeremy Weatherby. And shotgun on the field here, this four-car field, alongside the 45 car as our old buddy Mike Massey. So those are the four drivers that make up heat race number two. Ten laps going to be the distance. And uh, oh, and, and think about it, Todd, here. Something we, we saw last season, you know, as part of the 360 sprint cars, well, we got it here with these pro late models. It is open setup, so a lot of these guys have a lot of time invested to the way these cars are going to handle, the way these cars are going to react here. And, uh, you know, with eight cars, you know, what better time to come out here tonight with a, a good baseline set and try to make it better. But you look at those guys, RRS racing there between uh, Blake Majulis and uh, Richard Murtaugh. Those two guys look to be really, really fast here. And uh, you're going to have the likes of all these guys. David Day here on Heat 1. You know, you know, Mark Karch is good. Scott Schroyer is good. Jeremy Weatherby's a pretty solid driver. Also, Randall Thompson and Mike Massey. I mean, these are eight really good race car drivers. They're going to have their hands full of those two guys up there from RRS here this evening as we're getting ready to go green for heat race number two. Get ready to go green for heat race number two. And we're inside the cockpit of Jeremy Weatherby. This is the inside look here from that Kabang Energy Candy Sponsor Machine. Green flags in the air. Hammer is down. Look at Richard Murtaugh Jr. from the screen of Jeremy Weatherby, he just took off like a cannon there, leaving David Day in the dust. That's something we're not accustomed to with that number five machine. Is David Day now running in the second spot, but just completing one lap behind the wheel here. And that 289, that's Jeremy Weatherby. A nice in-car look for him. Yeah, it's a great view there as those guys start racing for that second and third spot. David Day has broken away from Weatherby. Mike Massey going to trail a 289 off of turn number four, putting lap number two, lap three going up on the board this time around. But look at the run here for Richard Murtaugh out of the gate. A great run by that 600 car. We saw him qualify second quick here in time. Trials took the pole in heat number two in the same story as we saw in the first heat. That leader gets that good launch off the restart, off the initial start of the race. Look at that advantage he's got there. David Day, though, not letting him get away. He's kind of chopped that animal down, but it's still a good impressive. About eight car lengths now as they work through three and four. We're halfway home. 
And almost halfway home here is David Day down the back straightaway air into turn number three, the number five machine off of turn number four. It's David Day digging on the bottom. He lets it drift and lets it bite there as he goes to the wall down the back or front straightaway here into turn number one and three. He's running the extreme bottom groove. Look at Murtaugh. Murtaugh just running away from that number five, trying to run away and hide, driving off into the sunset. We have four laps remaining here at Lanier Speedway. And I've been paying attention to that race for the third spot between Jeremy Weatherby and Mike Massey. That kind of heated up there. Massey made a mistake, a little bit of bobble off of turn four last time around. That's allowed Jeremy to get away with. All of a sudden, that 289, the Kabang Energy Candy Machine, he is up on the wheel. He has chased down David Day. It is two car lengths between the five car of a 289. We're going to have two to go next time around. Richard Murtaugh is driving off the sunset here. He looks to be poised to pick up a checkered flag in the second heat. Popsicle sticks up in the air. Two laps do remain around the speedway. The 289 of Jeremy Weatherby trying to catch Mr. Excitement, David Day. David Day kind of changed his groove up. He was running the extreme bottom. Now up on the top, pushing the cushion. White flag in the air. One more time around the 3 a mile for the 600 car of Richard Murtaugh. He'll work his way down the back stretch, headed toward turn number three. Great race for him there, the 600. He's going to take down the win, but that race for the second spot between David Day, Jeremy Weatherby. Looks like David Day's going to hold him off at the line, but it was a very spirited race. Weatherby brings it home third, and Mike Massey rounds out the four-car field for heat race number two, and that's going to move us in, Todd, to I believe what is a – is a two-minute warm-up session, so a very, very quick little warm-up session for these guys. Let them get out there, make a couple of quick hot laps, test and tune, last adjustments on these setups before we set these guys loose for a 50-lap feature here that is just going to be electric for these guys. We are going to see a hell of a race, but uh, if you've got to pick an early favorite, you got to like Blake Majoplis, a very late cover to the series here. Literally signed up during this little brief delay we had. He's come out here and very strong piece, and that 227, I, I'm thoroughly impressed by the skill of this driver and the absolute speed that is built into that race car. Definitely impressed, Phil, with some of these drivers out there on the speedway, but I'm going to throw it down trackside. We did not get the national anthem in before the race started, but we are sure going to salute the nation now with the playing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the As these guys get ready to get locked and loaded, was thinking that National Anthem was looping just a little bit there, but it wasn't. I was just uh, trying to play around with these new keys that are going on out there, but a great way to salute our nation. These guys getting locked and loaded for their starting lineup. Those guys pulling on the grid. 50 laps will be the distance here this evening. Lanier Dirt is the site here tonight. And it's going to be an action-packed race, I can tell you that, Phil. As these guys getting ready, got to thank you once again. Our sponsors are RTZ. Racing and Kabang Energy. 
they're doing a fantastic job here so far for this season. And this is a young season. First race of the season out of eight. So we're going to hope to see some more drivers here next next week. And hopefully we'll see some more excitement. But right now, the track, I tell you what, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here tonight, Phil, between all these drivers. Eight really, really good drivers out there on the speedway. No, it's going to be a great show here. These guys are on the pace lap, but it looks like the way they're going to come to post is on the pole, our quick time sitter tonight. Winner of heat number one, the number 227 of Blake Majoltis, and two is outside in the 600 car. That's Richard Murtaugh, Jr. Next row back, starting in that set, third starting position, that's Scott Schroyer. Outside of him is David Day. Row three to the inside, the 101 car is the high side hustler, Martin Karch. Jeremy Weatherby's rolling off a 289 sixth. Randall Thompson and Mike Massey make up the eight car field. Todd Stanton, we are green for 50 laps in the linear speedway. Yeah, green flags in the air, loud puddles down. Definitely these guys fighting side by side. The 227 on the bottom, the 600 of Murtaugh Jr. on the top side. Those guys fighting for every inch of real estate that they got. What an amazing battle going on. And then in that third spot right now is the number five car. That's David Day. Looks like contact made between Day and Scott Schroyer. Schroyer's drifting back here. We had to see where Schroyer's going to end up there in that number number two machine. Tough break for Scott Schroyer. David Day still holding on to that third spot. Yeah, caution flag now going to come on the speedway. So looks like that contact may have just led ourselves to the first caution flag of the event. Going to be a good break there for the, the 101 car of Martin Karch. I believe he may have missed the initial start of the race as that car was on pit road with an issue. So he looks like he's going to start this race one lap down. But it looks like he is going to get the benefactor of the lucky dog. Martin Karch is going to get back to the lead lap, it looks like here. So all these drivers look like going to be left on the racetrack. But Todd, I don't know if you can give us a look back there with our first full velocity TV replay uh, we're happy to put his caution flag number one. It was good racing between uh, the, the five car of David Day, the two car of Scott Schroyer. Did that lead to our first caution flag of the night? I, I don't know what led to that as we cannot get the full velocity TV replays ready because that, that scene was not quite built yet, Phil. So uh, I know we're, we're kind of young here with the full velocity TV that was not built, so we cannot throw that scene up, unfortunately. But I know the 45 machine of Mike Massey was upside down on his lid. I wish I could have got him some more TV time. Tough break for Mike Massey is Massey a really strong competitor week in and week out. He gets faster every time we go racing here on the dirt. Oh, he's going to be a competitor this season, no doubt. But uh, these guys are all locked up, ready to go back. Green flag racing, green flags in the air. So we're going to be back to it. We are just three laps into the event. And things are already happening crazy here. Is off on the restart. Yeah, yellow flag number one was out there, but now we're under green flag conditions. Lap seven of 50, completing lap number eight there as the number 600 of Richard Murtaugh Jr. leading Blake in that 227 machine. The five of David Day running in that third spot. Fourth is Scott Schroyer. He's under heavy, heavy fire from that that 220 or 289 machine of Jeremy Weatherby, our Quebec Energy sponsor, Energy Candy sponsor machine, as he was all over the rear bumper. But Scott Schroyer now has caught up to the tail end of Mr. Excitement, David Day. Day running the bottom side. You can see Schroyer kind of rolling it into the middle of the groove here, almost to the high groove of that number two machine, trying to get that RTZ sponsored machine, that team car, up to the front. And having a good run of it for him in the five car of David Day. The 101 of Mark Karch is there. Jeremy Weatherby is right there in the fight as well. But... Up front, Richard Burton Jr., that number 600 car, he has driven away a couple of car lengths of his teammate, the 227 of Blake Machokas, two car lengths to him. Then you find David Day in the five running in that third spot. Scott Schroyer currently running fourth for that battle that fifth spot. It's pretty good there. The 101 Mark Karch, the 289 of Jeremy Weatherby. I've seen a couple of sliders thrown by the two of those guys. Get the spot to the 101 at the line. Yeah, the 101 to Martin Karch running now in that fifth position, trying to make his way up towards the front. Like you said, he had some issues, could not make the starting grid, but was able to get the Lucky Dog. Lucky Dog recipient now motoring his way up towards the front. We are on lap 14 of 50. Nice battle heating up between the number two of Scott Schroyer and the five of David Day. Schroyer down on the bottom side. It looks like David Day was up top there momentarily. Looks like two different grooves there again. And Scott Schroyer was running the top. He switches over to the bottom. A really good racetrack we've got here at the Lanier National Speedway. Very raceable surface, too. 
maybe about a middle lane there. You see these guys low side, high side, sliders being thrown. Great race going on for third. Give the spot to Scott Schroyer at the line. David A kicked back to fourth, and he's going to have his hands full ton. Martin Karch, the 101, he is there, the high side hustler. He's got a motoring on the low side, kind of not like Martin, but we're going to have a good three-car dance for that third spot now as we exit turn number two. A nice three-car dance going on for that third spot. Scott Schroeder right now maintaining a now battle for the fourth spot, starting to heat up between Day and Karch. Karch down to the bottom side. He's seen what Schroeder did to get around David Day. Now they're side by side through corner number one and two down the back chute here. The temporary back chute, I'm going to say the real short back chute. It almost looks like a turn inside of another turn. It's now... David Day now working down to the bottom, blocks the one-on-one of Martin Karch there momentarily. Day trying to change his groove up, trying to find some more speed. You see a lot of these guys out on the track as this track changes, Phil, they're searching for that fast groove. Yeah, what may be the fast groove in the opening laps of this thing, well, it really does start going away. It's kind of like you do with the guys who may be on asphalt, but we're out here in the dirt, but... Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, one of those times where uh, you're searching for the fast groove around. The racetrack does change. You see the rut starting to build up there. The track starting to glow a little bit. That means that surface is kind of running. You've got to go all around there looking for all the grip you can find. And look at the race we're having out here. Good race starting to shape up between the 227 of uh, Blake Majoltis and good race between himself. Scott Schroyer, the two is there. Mark Karch, David A. All those guys are searching for real estate. That's a good race for second, but Richard Murtaugh, he is run off the field. He's going to run a full two-second advantage here. We're not even quite halfway. Just as I thought, Martin Karch had the slide job completed on David Day. Day tries to fire back there, almost running into the side of Karch there. Nice battle going on for that fourth spot. Day working on the bottom side. Looks like Karch is finally going to be able to complete the pass. Day is going to fall back to that fifth spot in the number five. But a beautiful battle going on between Schroyer and the 227 machine uh, of Blake Joltis here trying to uh, trying to be able to hang on to that second spot. Pascal Schroer just irking on the bottom, lurking on the bottom, hub sucking as we would call it. Scott Schroer right there up next to the wall on the bottom. Joltis in that number 227 working over the middle part. It's starting to blacken off, starting to slicken off there for that 227 machine, but he's able to maintain second, but Schroer all over him. Yeah, all over him like a cheap suit off of turn number four on the low side of the racetrack. It is car number two of Scott Schroyer, and you got to think now, can he make the pass? The 227, Majoltis, he just slammed that door shut on the inside lane. Looks like these guys may do a little bit of high-low switching. Is now Schroyer with the good run off of turn number four. He may try to find his way back to the low side, but Todd, look at what this race for that second spot is doing. It's brought the high side hustle, those familiar colors of the 101. He has now brought himself into the fray as well. So what was a great two-car race for that runner-up spot? Well, it may now be a three-car dance as Martin Karch has chased these guys down. And he may be arguably the fastest car on the racetrack in this current junction. Yeah, indeed, he may be the fastest car out there on the racetrack. I'd like to have to check scoring and timing. Last time by Martin Karch with a 13797. That is indeed quicker. Then that number two machine of Scott Schroyer hit a 13.798. So just a little bit quicker. The yellow flag's going to fly here. Caution flag number two. Great run going on there. Not sure what happened there, Phil, as I was looking at some of the telemetry, but I don't see the 227 around anymore. No, but he did go around and got pointed in the wrong direction. Did Blake Majoltis? He was having a hell of a run with himself. Scott Schroyer was there. Martin Karch was down there. But yeah, looks like Blake got a little bit overzealous in the 227, and that car stepped out on him. He got spun around the wrong direction. It is a second yellow flag of the night here for the TDR Open Pro Late Model Series presented by RTZ Racing and brought to you by here tonight. Full Velocity TV sponsors, Kabang Energy Candy, and the all new Fantasy Sports app, Draft.com. Download that on your Apple iPhone or your Android device today, of course. The all new way to play fantasy sports. All new app, Draft.com. Check this great app out. Guys like Jeremy Weatherby have stepped up here saying he's a, you know, one of the guys engineering on that staff and also guy who's brought us Kabang Energy Candy. We're going to have a lot of product to give away here over the next couple of weeks. We will give you all the details next week as uh, all of that unfolds. But this eight-car field, they have restacked, repacked, and 
you got to like the way this feature is going to end itself. Todd, we are green flag racing. Richard Murtaugh, that big advantage he had that was over two seconds has all evaporated. Now he has Scott Schroyer and Mark Marsh breathing right down his neck. They're at turn number one. We are past the 35 lap marker. We're down to 15 to go. Schroyer, who is historically, historically a longer green flag run type of guy, he is able to pull up there right there with Murtaugh, so he's got a longer run set up under that number two machine as he's able to work over the bottom side. Right now, Martin Karch coming out of fire from the 227 machine. He's down on the bottom. Oh, Karch drifts up into the loose stuff. Not sure what happened there. He's gonna lose a whole two positions there. There's a number five of David Dave dies down to the bottom. He gets around Karch there momentarily. Gotta see if Karch gonna be able to fight back. But meanwhile, up front, Schroyer working the bottom side. He's lurking. He's waiting for, waiting for a move to strike on that number 600 of Murtaugh Jr. Jr. right now working the top side of the speedway, almost the middle groove here for that 600, but Schroyer not letting him get away. No, oh, not at all. Hell of a race going on here for the race lead. Richard Murtaugh, who has led the majority of this 50-lap feature here, the opening race of the season at the Lanier National Speedway. Well, he has just got a big challenge now from a the RTZ Motorsports number two car of Scott Schroyer right there on the tire tracks. That race for third has settled down for the time being. Give our Richard, uh, give our Blake Majolt just the third spot there over Mark Karch, David Day also right there in the fray as well. But this great race will lead there, Todd, as we're now inside of 10 laps remaining here in our 50 lap A main feature. Murtaugh, Scott Schroyer, that's the race for the lead. 10 laps to go around a 3 8 mile. And indeed, 10 laps to go is Schroyer trying to reel back in that number 600 machine as they come down here to turn number one. Two different groups here between the 600 and the two of Schroyer. Schroyer right now trying to throw everything he has at him here. As it looks like Murtaugh's starting to walk away just a little bit there. About three or four car lengths over the number two. Now the two back down to the bottom. He's trying to find every ounce of moisture there on the bottom side, trying to get the extra grip trying to propel himself off the corner side bite is the name of the game right now for that number two machine he is searching all over the track for that yeah he certainly is but the problem is Todd, he's starting to run out of time it's a great spirited race up to the front but you know catching these guys is one thing making a nice good clean pass you know scott schroyer one of the cleanest guys out there and has really taken a knack for the guy racing dirt simulation he is up there contending late but a very good heavy hitter like Richard Murtaugh who's you know he's been in a big race environment here a time or two over as has his teammate from RRC the 227 oh. of Blake Machultus he has begun to run those two guys down as they're having a good spirited race for lead what is two looks like has now become three is a 227 car he is there he is all over the back bumper of the two car of Schroyer. Those guys continue to, to slide through this corner, kick up all the smoke trails. The problem is next time around, they're gonna have three laps remaining. Yeah, Phil, three laps remaining here. The two of uh, Scott Schroyer looks like uh, looks like he was trying to run the bottom there. Got crossed up just a little bit there with that 600 machine. 600 trying to protect his groove there, trying to keep Schroyer behind him. Unfortunately, uh, this simulation has mirrors in them, so you're able to look. That's not like the real dirt track and that they, they do a normal Friday or Saturday night. No mirrors allowed there. Schroyer right now trying to protect the second spot. His white flag is in the air. Final lap here, 227 slings it in there, trying to get around the two of Scott Schroyer, not gonna be able to do so. Schroyer still hanging on to that second spot. Murtaugh looks like he's gonna come out of turn number four, the winner, and that number 600 machine just barely over that number two of Scott Schroyer. Schroyer gonna finish up second, third is gonna be Blake Majoltis, then fourth, Martin Karch, David Day, Jerry Weatherby, Randall Thompson, and then Michael Massey rounding out your field here. Again, congratulations to Richard Murtaugh Jr. Picking up the win here at the Lanier National Speedway and the dirt side of things there, Phil. Fantastic finish here for these guys here this evening. Yeah, an excellent race indeed here for these guys at TDR Sim Racing League here. Find these guys at iRacing. and come be a part of what is going to be a terrific series here this season. This is just opening night, guys. Spread the word, $5 entry fee and all the great things to come here. A, a, a nice healthy points payout at the end of the season. We're gonna raise more money, mate. See if we can't make this thing swell. We got great sponsors like Kabang Energy Candy on board, Draft.com, the all new fantasy sports app. They've also come on board. So a lot of great things to come, guys. Find this great league. 
tdr-racing.net forward slash iRacing and right here smack inside the iRacing simulation here. Would love to see you guys come out and play with these guys. It is going to be a very great season, but it is a wonderful start there, Todd. Is we're going to see if we can't throw this thing straight down to victory lane. We're going to throw it down there and see if we can't talk with tonight's winner, Richard Murtaugh. Todd sprinting down there now. Todd, I know you're on your way. You're going to talk to our race winner, Richard Murtaugh, who's in victory lane. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I didn't quite know what was going to happen there. I uh, Earlier in the day, my car wasn't the greatest so i decided to switch over to my uh, uh limeland setup i've been working on for the last couple of days and uh it was actually really fast and i had my teammate blake uh Majulis, he was out there running with me and he was telling me how he was on his setup his uh limeland setup so i decided to try it and uh, i didn't quite expect the setup to be uh as fast as it was. it was it was really fast but i seen him coming up and catching me there and tried to run the bottom car was way too tight so I, uh, I went back up to the outside, and it's a pretty good race there. Indeed, it was a fantastic race as you guys were racing side by side. He was able to run the bottom really comfortably, and he was able to uh, gain quite a bit of ground there. Looked like you went to the bottom as soon as you seen something, like you said, and it just looked like your your car was tight quite a bit there on the bottom, but Schroyer was able to run it down there and roll it in there and able to find that little bit of moisture on the bottom side of the track there, Richard, but you were able to find something up top and it was able to keep him at bay. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, as accustomed to here on Full Velocity TV, Richard, I'm going to give you the microphone. The floor is all yours. Thank you, whoever you'd like to thank here this evening. Uh, who got you here? Um, Rocket Racing Setups, Pagney in Americas, Next Level Racing, Gilmore IRAPS, AMS Oil Monster, uh, Carter Speed Service, and uh, Rubber Up Racing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, picking up tonight's win here at Lanier Speedway, the driver of the 600, that's Richard Murtaugh Jr. I believe we're going to throw it to Phil, who I believe is going to catch up with a couple of our other guys. I, I, I do believe here we've finished up in the top three. I mean, Scott Schroeder we might be able to get a hold of. As, uh, I, I think, indeed, uh, Phil has been able to catch up with maybe the driver of that number two machine. Absolutely. We're going to sprint it down here to the end of pit road. We find the driver of the RTZ racing car number two of Scott Schreier. Scott, what an awesome run by you tonight, brother. Great race up front between you and Richard Murtaugh. We talked about the really great speed that race car had, but man, making a clean pass on these guys when you're darting down to the inside of these corners on these little tiny short tracks, it's awfully tough to pass. But being the gentleman you are, you gave that room. But overall, a really great solid race here and a great way to open up the season for you. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, it was tough, man. It, it's tough to pass here. It is almost impossible unless, a, you know, somebody makes a mistake in front of you. It is just tough. And I thought a couple of times I got underneath Richard there, I thought I was going to get him, but uh, it just, you know, speed off the exit. And, uh, you know, I just couldn't let it slide out to the wall and, and get in front of him. But uh, it wasn't for lack of trying, I can assure you. No, it absolutely showed. You drove the absolute, just every everything that car had. You, you certainly threw it out there. But uh, as a guy, you know, open you know admittedly not a fan of the sprint cars but you come out here more of your feel in these full feathered super late models uh the pro late models rather but uh for for guys like me out there who you know come out here in these you know the rookie you know kind of series like the street stocks or even like the three or five sprint cars a lot of that racing is fixed setup but for guys who don't know much about open setup racing you know how much different is it having all that adjustability out there to to go out there and make those short runs and heat races and to be able to throw something completely different at it and go out there and make it a good long run car for the future because your car looked to be one of the more stable cars out there all night long able to to run both lanes effectively 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's like night and day, man, uh, between fixed setups and open setups. I mean, uh, these cars are, are so throttle responsive, and, and, you know, they ride on the bars. And if you come off the bars on these cars, they get upset really bad. But um, uh, the open setups are, are just so much better. And, and for for me and, and a lot of guys, I think, because, you know, not everybody has the same driving style. And you can put fixed setups in there, and then, you know, you just you kind of at the mercy, and you have to kind of go with what the car will allow you. And sometimes it hurts you in a bad way, especially if, you know, it's not your type of driving style. But uh, definitely a big fan of these cars. Well, absolutely. It is going to be an awesome season here for the Pro Late Auto Series, presented by RTZ Racing, which... You are a proud member of RTZ. Thanks for coming aboard here, being a presenting sponsor for us here this season, being the title sponsor, I should say, for the for the Pro Late Model Series. But uh, you're, you know our drill here. We've done this a couple of times before. New to our Full Velocity TV, we always give these guys the microphone to close tonight. So, Scott, the floor is all yours. Give a shout-out to everybody out there watching us live on Full Velocity TV here tonight. We have a pretty good audience out there. Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you and Todd back uh, to the broadcasting. You guys, uh, I think, have done uh, the, the best job, bar none, over the years that I've been affiliated with any kind of racing. Uh, I've always enjoyed watching your broadcast, so welcome back, Bill and Todd. You guys are, are top-notch, no doubt about it. Um, you know, I'd like to thank you know, um, RTZ for uh, Martin and I. We work really hard on trying to get set up some work together and stuff, and, and um, Todd is actually a part of that team as well, but, uh, you know, we can't get Todd out here. He, he just, I don't know, he's busy in the booth. But, um, other than that, uh, just uh, like to thank everybody for coming out, and it's still not too late to join the league, you know, so go to TDR Sim Racing League and check us out and get signed up, and we'll get you over here and, and uh, get you on TV. Absolutely right. Well, that is one of the pure, genuine good guys here in the sim racing community, Scott Schroyer, bringing the RTZ number two here home in the runner-up spot. A great night for us. Good opening night here on Full Velocity TV there, Todd. Guess a little late to the airwaves here tonight. You know, I race in simulation sometimes, and you know, this is an admin of this great league as well. You go in there, you tweak on these settings, get a practice session out there in a timely fashion, and I racing kicks back on you and, you know, doesn't agree with you, and, uh, you get set scrambling, but for opening night, a little bit behind, but a hell of a good race by these guys. And I think as word gets out and the mushroom cloud starts to grow and full velocity TV comes to life and more people get aware of the super you know, pro late model series, I think we're going to see some really good action out here. I think we're going to see some pretty strong car counts, and there's a lot of great racetracks to come to this schedule. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely a lot of great racetracks to come here in the future. Street Stocks do run before these guys. That is a fixed setup league. And Street Stocks are going to be there 815 practice, 830 qualifying and heat races. So $5 will get you involved in both those series on Monday nights. If you're not able to get to the Pro Series or or is an invite only with the Pro Series, but if you try it out in the Street Stocks, they, they may say, hey, Come on up to the Pro Series, and, and then you get on that broadcasted tier. You get out there, you get projected out there, and you get you get all kinds of different limelights and different stuff like that, unlike me where I can't get out there on that track. I try to help those guys. I do a, do a darn good job there when they give me a good setup, but uh, yeah, I don't have time to actually work on those setups. So, again, we've got a thing. RTZ Racing here, one of the – the title sponsor should say of the late model series here, the pro late model series here at TDR racing. And also got to thank Kabang energy candy. They're going to be doing a lot of giveaways here in the future. We've got to get a, get together with those guys. We'll, we'll do some giveaways here for the fans out there in YouTube land and, and make sure you get to try some of these awesome samples of Kabang energy candy. So again, Kabang energy candy can't say enough about these fine folks that have came aboard here to support the TDR Racing League and Full Velocity TV, for that matter. Kabang Energy Candy going to be a part of Full Velocity each and every one of our episodes. We're going to make sure we'll get it out there. So that way, you got to try it. I know samples are coming mine and Phil's way. So we'll try it. We'll let you know. I'm pretty sure it's darn good stuff. They're great people to talk with. Uh, they certainly are also going to thank a friend. So we all do fantasy app, draft.com. They are willing now to make your first deposit for free. An all-new way, an all-new approach to fantasy gaming on your iPhone, your Android device, draft.com. And, the, and the, the, the Apple or you know Google Store there on your, your, your uh, Android device, rather. Check them out now. Promo code Weatherby. 
that will make, get your your promo code is Weatherby. They will make a ten dollar deposit for you and check out the all new fantasy sports app Draft.com available today. And don't forget, guys, next week we unveil out the first night of the 50-50 raffle drawing. So head over now to our, you know, the home base for this league, tdr-racing.net forward slash iRacing. Click on the donate button on the top right-hand corner and get your raffle tickets in now. We will draw that winner next week at the conclusion of the Pro Late Model Series. So until next Monday night, for my partner, Too Tall Todd Stanton, great to be back alongside I am Phil LaCasse. Thank you for tuning in here tonight. The debut voyage, the new chapter has begun right here on Full Velocity TV. We will see you next week.